here with Lena today and we're both Hufflepuffs, if you didn't know already. And so we're going to tell you 10 awesome things about Hufflepuffs. This is a list video, deal with it! Sometimes it bothers me that people don't want to be in a Hufflepuff. It's like literally like their worst option. Like when yeah. people come out of Hufflepuff and Pottermore, they're like, oh guys, I'm a Hufflepuff, hashtag sad. Why? <laughs> Hufflepuff is great, so offensive! I'm going to tell you why. Hufflepuffs are notorious for being trustworthy and loyal. Mm -hmm. Family and friends, super top high priority, and we've always got Ben and Jerry's in the fridge if anybody needs Little fact, the head of house is Professor Sprout, who teaches herbology, and our common room is next to the kitchen. So I feel like Hufflepuffs just get high all the time and then munch out. I mean, who doesn't want to be in that house? Location, location, <laughs> low fucking location. Ten Guys of Woodcroft was a witch who actually founded Hogsmeade. So without her and without Hufflepuffs in general, we wouldn't have Butterbeer, we wouldn't have any of the magic in Hogsmeade. Hey, we'd be missing half of the plot of Harry Potter. Yeah, shit goes down in Hogsmeade. But Lena, there is something that the Hufflepuff house is lacking. It's true, Hannah, it's embarrassing, we need to work on it. We've actually produced the least amount of dark wizards in all of wizarding history. Damn it! Yeah, you know. Hufflepuffs are also very well known for being very empathetic, which is very in right now. And also, it's, it's important to note that our um, house ghost is Fat Friar, and he's like, he's, everybody knows he's the friendliest ghost. Friendliest ghost. Hufflepuffs are the party people. We have the most fun. If you're looking for a party, it's in the Hufflepuff common room, but you can't get in. Okay. <laughs> We're not telling you this good. <laughs> If you bring us food. Tonks is a Hufflepuff, and while she's been a personal inspiration for me, changing my hair all the time, mm. she's just clearly every, everyone's most sad when Tonks. Spoiler alert! <laughs> Tonks <laughs> died! Tonks died! Hufflepuffs are unafraid of toil. We don't mind getting our hands dirty, we will work hard for the things that matter to us. And I think that's true in both of our lives, like we're both notorious for being super busy. So if you're listening to the etymology of Hufflepuff, you'll see that at the end of it is Puff, emphasis on Puff. We are the most homosocial house. I'd like to think we're also very tolerant of like homosexuality and probably the most open to that. I feel like if there's a demonstration in Hufflepuff for gay marriage to be legalised in the wizarding world, like Hufflepuff would be on that shit, rainbows and smiles. And finally, Hufflepuff is JK Rowling, the inventor of this whole world. It's her favourite house. Definitive. So like, that's it, bottom line. Done. Sorry guys. Yeah. And Damn. everyone should want to be a Hufflepuff. Everybody wants to be a Puff. <laughs> <laughs> because the puff's the only puff who knows where there's enough. <laughs> but as Hufflepuffs, me and Lena are both very accepting of other houses and we value your qualities too. Please let us know in the comments what house you're in and what qualities that you value from that house. And if you don't like Harry Potter, then okay. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Please leave 